East London. Five Olympic-sized pools filled with human waste. The athletes charged with the marathon task of cleaning them out are Danny, Gary and Danny. Let the games begin. This is one of our last lines of defence against sewage going into main streams and, and rivers and streets and, and gardens and places like that. So when there's heavy rainfall and the sewers fill up, what happens is the tanks gradually fill up and then we have to come and drain them down and clean them after the storm has receded. And we'll show you all the goodies that are left in the bottom. The solids have settled to the bottom of the tank. To get to it, Gary's going to drain it out. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to actually drain, drain the tank for, uh, so we can start cleaning it. Right, so here we are in the, uh, basically the, the control room. And I'm, all I'm going to do right now is basically pull the plug on that big bath outside. Here I go, if I just push that, and away we go. Each tank can hold 3,500 cubic metres or 700,000 gallons of sewage. This channel here is actually the drain off from the tank, so now Gary's opened the, uh, the pen stuff on the tank. This is where the water's draining off and it's going back into the main sewage system. Without the tanks, raw sewage would flood into the Thames whenever there's more rainfall than the system can handle. Should we get rid of it, lads? Yes, let's do it. Let's get it done. The team prepares to wade in. Girls just found some money. You get to find that every now and again. Yes, mate. That's the only good thing about the job. You get to find some uh, decent stuff down every now and again. A few quite. squid every now and again. Nice chain or a necklace, maybe. Fingers crossed, we might find something today. To keep the tanks working, they have to be cleared of solid waste. It actually smells worse than the sewers in here. It really does. And the sewers sometimes, well, most of the time, don't smell too bad, but this, this is really foul. It's a close encounter of the turd crime, I suppose, isn't it? This turns your guts right up, this does. But, you know, if someone's got to do it, then they so. Today's massive challenge, clear 1,400 square metres of human waste before the next big storm. In East London, the huge low-haul storm tanks are being cleared of tonnes of human waste. Danny, Gary and Danny do it with a high-pressure hose and lots of muscle. Right, what we're basically doing now, we're going to be uh, washing down all the crevices down and there, get a bit of water going down, and there, two boys down there, poor sods, are going to be... Uh, Pushing it through with a squeegee. Before they can clean the main tank, the team has to tackle the culvert that leads in from the sewage system. If this backs up, the overflow would have nowhere to go. Basically, what's happened is we've come to a really thick uh, silt, and uh, basically Dan's got to hose it down so we can get through better. Otherwise, it's too hard work. As you can see, I'm sweating. The problem is that the culvert gets blocked by stuff that shouldn't be in the sewer in the first place. You've got everything in there. You've got a few little bits of uh, the old rag in there. I see the old pair of pants in there as well. I don't know how they get in there. I mean, there's some shy people out there that don't want to put their, put their pants in the washing machine. So they think, yeah, I'll shove them down the toilet out of the way. But little do they know, it ends up in here. We get to see them. We know who you are. And it's actually a lot harder than it looks to push it all through. It gets stuck on the concrete, and, and I mean, I'm a big boy, so pushing it all through, it's like it's sort of, say, it's about 16 stone, a bloke behind it, and it's still really hard to push down. I've said about 16 stone. <laughs> so you get a lovely bit of build up on these ladders. How should that end up in a sewer? There's all sorts of fat in there. So people have uh, decided to put it down the toilet. Well, this will all build up, and eventually, you know, you could even get as far as to say it could flood London with all, you know, just people being a little bit lazy. This is so easy to do, really, isn't it? Just to uh, put it down the toilet or down the sink, and eventually you'll pay the consequences. You won't want all that back feeling coming back up through your sink or your toilet. I don't, I don't suppose it'd be pretty. I'll just crack on with this. Thanks, guys. No, thank you, Gary, and for helping to stop fountains of filth from flooding into the Thames. I think that's about it for the channel. It's a lot cleaner than it was when we started. Now for the best bit, the tank. 
the huge storm overflow tanks that protect the London sewer system have been drained down. The grime that remains has to be cleared by the end of the day. You see the bottom of the tank now, because it's all drained out, all the water that was in there, it's a bit worse down the other end. I'm just going to get here and carry on with the squeegee in. So, see if we can find anything nice in there. Most of what they're going to find is anything but nice. Yeah, there's some sweet yeah. corn around and some food stuff. So I think the pigeons and the crows have had most of that. There's some carrots and stuff in there. See a bit of a sweet corn there? I can only imagine where that's coming from. We get it all in here. You know, yeah. Nothing gets held back. You know, there's no Bag butts. there's no filter on here. This is this is raw as it gets. You know, this is raw sewage. What you see a lot of here is wet wipes. And you, you, you know, I must admit I was pretty prone to it myself. You don't think? Do you think they dissolve? But actually, they don't. When you look at that, that tells you that's not dissolving at all, is it? It's exactly the same size as you see it when you uh, when you pull it out of the packet, isn't it? All this stuff should go in the bin. That's why we run our bin it, don't block it campaign. Uh, to try and stop sewer abuse, really. That's what we call it, because it is literally an abuse of the system that we've got. There's other sanitary items there. That's a, a lady's towel, should we call it, mm. you know? Oh, would you want to be dealing with that? Can't even really touch that, mate. It turns me guts out, does Yeah, I wouldn't pick it up myself. The raw sewage has to be washed back towards the sewage works for processing. After a while, you start to learn how to technique of how to do it. When you're first doing it, you're all over the place. <clears throat> what Gary's doing is, is, is pushing the stuff over to the sides. That's the easiest place for us to, to clean the tanks down. So Gary comes up the middle, pushes the stuff out, and we go either side with the squeegees, and we're pushing it down to the end, basically. When you're on that squeegee, you get so much flashbacks in that. It's horrific sometimes. Nothing worse than summer time you've got a sweep and scratch your face. This was made for me, wasn't it, look? Despite the evidence, Gary's still convinced they might find something nice. There is people that find some really hefty stuff, like jewellery, engagement rings or wedding rings, where in the heat of a row or something, they've uh, chucked it down the toilet. So. I found one ring once and uh, I fell over in the sewer to get it, so it sort of made me think that oh, I don't really want to be doing that again. Well, as you can see, we're over halfway now, and these tanks are 75 metres long and 20 metres wide, so it takes a while, but the end is in sight. Hey! Danny, Gary and Danny have almost finished the mammoth task of manually cleaning raw sewage from the low-haul storm tanks, East London's last line of defence when the sewers overflow with storm water. It's not a job everyone would appreciate, but these lads love it. You know, this, this is a job that's lovely in the summer, you know? It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it obviously smells a lot more in the summer. It's physically active, you know, it's not sitting in an office, you know. It's reasonably fresh air, you know, it stinks in here at the minute, but, you know, you're out in the open air, so the guys will laugh. You can laugh at Gary struggling with the hose. Yeah. Uh, this drain valve here, it goes back to um, the main sewer, and it goes off to Beckton Sewer's treatment where it's to be treated. We've just held it here for a period of time so that the, uh, so that the system can drain off because of the flow. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Sorry, my ass. Today, the team has drained nearly three quarters of a million gallons of sewage from the tank. Then, using muscle power alone, they pushed 15 tonnes of solid waste down a tiny hole and back into the sewage system. There you go. Looks like that's a wrap. <sighs> Job done. Happy days. Another day at the office. Danny, Gary and Danny know that most Londoners are completely unaware of the vital job they do, but it's a job in which they take a lot of pride.